exhibit you're in is Remembering Frank Rampola. He was an artist who um, lived in this area. Uh, he died in 1971, which is 40 years ago, at the age of 40. And so this is an opportunity to sort of reevaluate the legacy that he left, both as an artist, but he was also an art educator. He taught at the Ringling School of Art and at the University of South Florida. Frank Rampola, as a figurative expressionist, is very much like uh, Abraham Ratner, who is also shown in this museum. Figurative expressionism has more to deal with the human condition, um, how we socially interact with one another. And so it uses the human figure, it uses it in a very expressive manner, and it conveys uh, and responds to the events that are going on in the world around them. So in the 1960s, uh, using the style of figurative expressionism, he responded to many of the events that took place in the 1960s in those turbulent times. The death of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the Vietnam War, uh, protests, all of the other things that were going on. And so that's the main subjects that is in his work. Even in the work of Frank Rampola, although it is very modern to us, he loved the compositions that Michelangelo did, that uh, the, the Italian Renaissance artists did. He loved the way that Dutch Baroque artists used light. And so in many of these paintings, you will see that there is historical, art historical references. There is still a great interest in the paintings of Frank Rampola. In 1975, I saw my first Frank Rampola painting. I never forgot seeing that painting. Uh, I think that is the effect that he has upon people when they see his work for the first time. And there are many who, have, who still, 40 years later, feel a strong affinity with Frank Rampola. So we felt, the Lipa Ratner Museum of Art, that it was an honor for us to take the opportunity of this milestone to reevaluate, to look at this work again, and to see it in new eyes.